um so what's good with y'all um we're back with another video um yeah it's been a long time it's like one or two months now but we are back on the weekly grind so um yeah we're back with the travis scott tutorial kind of like a more utopia vibe type beat um also some some old rodeo vibes so um without further ado let's get straight into the beat so yeah, here we are in the project. Um, this is more of a, like a complex beat, but um, yeah, here we are in the project. As you can see, we got some some uh, laid down midis, we got some samples, um, a bunch of drum loops, and also like some some more interesting drum patterns. But um, yeah, without talking too much, let's get straight into um, the beat and um, just have a small listen to the intro. So yeah, like I said, a small listen to the intro. Um, this is what the intro sounds like. So yeah, as you can hear, we started off with this guitar sample, um, which I actually randomly found on my hard drive. To be honest, I don't know where it's from, I don't know who made it, if I made it or if somebody else made it, but um, yeah, this is what the sample sounds like. And um, yeah, I pitched the original one um, 200 cents down. So um, yeah, we are in B minor right now at 146 BPM. So um, yeah, that's the tempo and the key for this type beat. And um, I think this kind of guitar sounds more like the, the old Travis Scott style, more like the rodeo type stuff. And um, then we have this drum break, which is a bit quieter, but kind of like contributes to the atmosphere of the intro. Kind of a bit more like dynamic and drive. And I think this one is from uh, Looperman, I think. So um, yeah, it's just like a regular drum break. And then we have this third drum break, um, which kind of gives the intro the whole kind of bounce. Um, it's a lo-fi drum break. So this is what the drum break sounds alone. And to be honest, it's on Mixer Track 4, and I think I distorted it quite a lot, exactly. Um, as you can see with the decapitator, to kind of like get the grittiness out of it. And um, yeah, then we have also some kind of like synth runs from the Oberheim synth, which sounds like this. And then we have this synth, which I played. Uh, it's the BA1 from Baby Audio. So this is like their newest kind of product, new synth, and um, I got a discount on it. So I just jumped straight here into it and started to use it. So um, we have halftime on here. So this is what the synth sounds uh, without halftime. And for the intro, I put halftime on, as you can see here, to, yeah, halftime it. And that's actually basically everything for the intro, except we got um, also this kind of like reverse rise vocal effect. So this is kind of like a vocal a phrase I found also on Looperman. Um, yeah, Travis Scott and Don Tolliver kind of like vocal phrase, uh, which plays throughout the whole uh, the whole beat. So um, yeah, this is the vocal phrase. Um, yeah. And I put some obviously some heavy reverb on there. Um, decay time of four seconds mix rate at almost 64% and put a low cut at 400 hertz to cut out the lows and leave space. 
So, um, yeah, this is everything for the intro. And this is what the intro then sounds like. And then the beat drops and then I, like I said, took this vocal phrase from Lupinman and used it throughout, in this case, the whole chorus. Then I brought the arpeggiated um, BA1 synth back in uh, without the halftime effect. And then we got two instances of the BA1. So this is the first one. And this is the chord progression. It's pretty simple. Like I said, we are in B minor. And I layered this one with um, yeah this chord progression. These are all custom sounds because of the interesting fact that you can just jump into this uh, synth and click the regen mode. Um, until you find something that you like and then you can save it. So that's what I did and that's how I came up with these two instances of this synth and together they sound like this. Obviously I took them, uh, widened them a bit, cut out the lows. Then there is this, um, yeah, like I said, the arpeggiated synth. And we have the vocal phrase. And that's actually basically everything um, that plays throughout uh, the chorus and almost the whole beat. Yeah, we got some, some synth runs, like I said, as I showed you earlier in the intro, and some drum breaks. So that's basically the foundation of the beat. Then we have, obviously, the drums. Yeah, let me play it from the intro on. <laughs> So yeah, let's get to the drums. So yeah, here we have the drum pattern. Um, it's actually quite simple. That's what it sounds like without any other melodic instruments. So I layered three snares, which is this clever snare. Then we have this snare. And we have the teen X snare. So that's the main snare. Then we have also some counter snares um, used, uh, yeah, on the the offbeat. And then we have an open head. Um, obviously the spins 808. This one uh, I used the uh, short last spins 808 by Max Shooter. Um, to be honest, I use uh, the Max Shooter kits quite a lot. I think they are actually the best drum kits right now out there on the market. Super easy to use, great sounds, high quality sounds. Um, yeah, that's what I use quite a lot. Then we have this hi-hat, which um, is quite interesting. Um, it's a bit different, it's not like the typical generic hi-hat, but I think for these kind of beats, it fits quite well. Then we have a second hi-hat. That's actually it for the drums. And in the second part of the chorus, um, it's basically just the same pattern, but I brought in this kick. Um, yeah, to kind of give a bit more transient and a bit more boost in the low end, and that's what it sounds like with the kick. I also switched up the 8-way pattern a bit to kind of give it a bit more variety throughout the beat. And um, yeah. That's what it sounds like together with all the other elements. So 
Then we have the verses where probably only or most of the time only the guitar sample plays and um, yeah this arpeggiated synth with halftime on it. And then we have this bridge, which in my opinion is like the most Mike Dean kind of stuff you can get. So I took the original chord progressions in here and um, put some bass lines under it and that's what it sounds like. So yeah, that's the bridge. I used this um, Korg Mini Log um, one shot, which sounds amazing in my opinion. The lower octaves, and that's what I used for yeah the bass lines. Also put the guitar sample back in there, the ARP synth, and then dropping it back into yeah the chorus, and that's actually basically the end of the beat. So yeah, that's everything for this kind of beat. Um, I think it would fit quite nice on Travis Scott's project Utopia. Kind of gives like the more yeah old school vibe of Travis Scott, like I said, the rodeo type stuff um, with the guitar sample, um, but also some new influences with Mike Deanson's uh, style and these like lower uh, bass lines and quite atmospheric. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you got any feedback or if you want anything else um, to see on this channel or to see in the next videos, comment down below. Um, also, I'm planning on maybe putting out a free bank of um, yeah, BA1 presets if you guys want it. Uh, so just let me know. Uh, other than that, like I said, leave a like, leave a comment. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, yeah, see you in the next video.